So if you would there, I know we're talking about like connections and stuff like that. Was there, were there any times like that you experienced where you kind of look back and you were like, wow, I kind of regret doing that? Or do you kind of see it as, even though it was a mistake, it, it taught you a lesson that you want to make again that kind of, it kind of brightens your view of, 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 you know, the world and your dream. It kind of helped you in a way. Like, I think people kind of regret things, but they don't kind of see them as positive things. Yeah. Do you see them as like positive things, kind of like pushing you closer as, I definitely learn from my mistakes really fast, you know. Yeah. Yeah. In, a, in a place like um, like Los Angeles, the reality stick is real big. That stick is like this big, and it just spanks you on the butt because you might be the biggest, baddest thing in your hometown, in your in the smaller pond, and then you come here, and you'll let's just face it, you'll probably never be the biggest fish in this pond, right? Yeah, that's very and true. so, certain things that um, happen, you become humble. You you realize, okay. Uh, you know, I can't march along the way I had. I have to. I have to sit back. I have to um, bring myself down, to, like the, the people level with even, and really make this work at a really organic pace. Yeah. yeah. So, um, in, I guess to say, do I have regrets about it? Um, so far, I would say everything I've done in my life, uh, personally, I, it's been tempered at the right level of my own risk tolerance. So I've taken risks, I've taken big risks, but I didn't make stupid risks. You were kind of calculated risks. It was, it was absolutely calculated all the way. Like, like prior to moving to LA, now I used to be an investment banker before I did this. Yeah. Like, can you imagine what my boss's face was when I said, take my stuff, I'm quitting. <laughs> put my stuff in the container, and in 45 days, I'm gonna be a fitness model and a photographer in LA. <laughs> like, oh my God, this girl about the big track in Amsterdam. <laughs> like, yeah. you know? um, but it was all calculated, like they didn't, they didn't know that I've been building up my brand for three years while I lived in Europe. They didn't know I was pounding the pavement, I didn't, that I was learning the skills that I, I needed necessarily to make it happen. Yeah. And most importantly, that I was moving back to the States and I was a, an American citizen. Mm -hmm. It was California. I was going to land on my own two feet. It's okay. It's, I'm, I'm native. Yeah, right? Yeah. But like, it's it's another thing that I've been like, I'm going to run off to Rome and chase my dream. I don't know the language. I don't know much either. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't even know what's right or wrong. I don't even know the laws there. But I'm going to make this work. Yeah. You know? That would be less calculated. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because like, you started talking about how you told him what you were planning to do. And that kind of that kind of take me into another thing. It's like, did you, did you kind of keep to yourself about what your, you know, what your dreams are and what your goals are? Because you kind of look at it. It's like if you start telling other people, they might just be like, why would you do that? You know, or they would kind of, they might even try and convince you to do otherwise because they think they know what's best for you but really deep down you kind of know you know you have that knowing in you like I need to go for this like because you just feel like that's what you put on this earth to do you know so do you kind of keep to yourself with, with what you do and you just kind of keep your circle tight and tell them what the plans are and then everyone else can just see it once it happens because you know what's going to happen. Actions speak louder than words Absolutely. in every instance Absolutely. and um, I think it's, it's a very powerful statement to not have to say anything at all you just Absolutely. Um, obviously, you, like there's a marketing aspect, there's business that you have to do, but um, uh, when you walk the walk, you automatically are that, right? That's absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always followed the quote. That's why I say, do it first, and then you can talk about it. You know yeah. what I mean? And I, I just followed that, and that's why I just, I kind of keep to myself about a lot of the stuff that I do, and I just wanted to know, you know, kind of how you go about things. You know? um, when I was uh, single, living in Belgium, it was, uh, I mean, I, I moved without, there without friends. Mm -hmm. So the internet literally, became, and my blog became like my, the, my my internet boyfriend. Like I would tell, what I would tell to a boyfriend <laughs> would it be what I would told my blog or I told on social media, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, from that st standpoint, it's like you know you're. You're having like your conversation and your audience is kind of reaching up and being a part of it um, and that helps you also define your way yeah. you know and, and be recognized at what you want to do so like for one part it's like I would say in a simplistic standpoint like you wanted to go compete in a physique show or you wanted to run a marathon well you just you run the marathon you know what I mean you go do, do it, it. But like then, it, but another factor is like if you want to set up a business, you gotta kind of make yourself a little bit known too. Like, are you are you put, put your attention out there? And you also attract that. Yeah. So like, um, I wanted to take photos, and I did it for free at the time because I was working a full time job, and I just wanted to hone my craft. But my intentions, I was putting my photos out there, then I attracted the people who wanted photos yeah. and who wanted to work together and yeah. hang out or do whatnot. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, I understand. What you're saying. Yeah. 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 So how about um? Your last thing, how about some 
just some some words of wisdom from you know your personal experience. You you, you built your, your your brand from the ground up, and now you know I can use myself as an example. You know, I'm coming from Connecticut, the East Coast, just to come work with you. You know, because I, I saw all of your work from other people who I follow, and they have you know nothing but great things to say about you. Their niches are awesome, and you know. I mean, I'm, I'm flying all the way across the country just to meet you and to work with you, and it's awesome. It was, I had a blast, so it's like maybe some words of wisdom for people who, who kind of have, like, that doubt. Maybe things aren't aren't working quick enough for them. They're becoming impatient. They, they see their vision as big, but it's just it's kind of slow right now. What would you kind of tell them? You, to you know, uh, surround yourself with people who have uh, similar uh, paths that you want to go along with. That's probably the number one thing. Mm -hmm. Get out into big networking groups as much as possible, meaning if you want to do the fitness thing maybe it's like and you're maybe you're a certified trainer you get get out to the big events there's idea expo that's coming up in anaheim right mm -hmm. big awesome group of people who are business minded they're going that path i have at the my guild you know a, a big part of it it's like it's a it's a tribe of people who you know you try to tell someone like i want to be uh, an internet phenom and i want to have an internet business doing what i do we're like it, it doesn't it doesn't resonate yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so like but having a group of people that understand what you're trying to do and that you can bounce off of, be it on social media, do it online, forums, or something, yeah. that helps keep you grounded on the path that you want to go. And um, I'll give a funny story as like an example. Um, I'm into internet marketing. I love, it's a, it's a whole other world, a whole other challenge for me. And um, so being down in Southern California, it's the epicenter of internet marketing. Like, um, I've had, I just met with some uh, clients uh, the other day. They flew in from Australia to shoot with me, and they're trying to launch their internet business, and they're just struggling because everyone looks at them like they have three eyes. Yeah. But um, the big thing is that they put themselves in situations where they can mentor. Uh, they found people who are doing what they want to do, yeah. uh, mentored with them, so that they can continue to be reassured that they're heading on the right path, at least have a little bit more vision of what the, the, the mid-long-term path looks like, because sometimes it's, it's pretty scary and you don't know where you're headed. Yeah. You don't even know if you're doing it right, you're yeah. throwing money at it. Yeah. So, you know, be around a group of people that support what you do or have, like, similarities, and then, you know, just like that saying, just go with it, just go with it, just go with it. that saying, like, you are who the five people you surround yourself with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, don't be afraid to speak, uh, to social engineer your life. Meaning, you pick and choose who you surround yourself with, and it's very easy that if you know, especially when you're young, is like you're surrounded with people that you went to high school with, yeah. you went to college with, but you know, and it, it might be painful to say like, oh, they're not going on the same path, but they're my buddies, and yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, most successful people in the world are going to find, they're going to find people who are on the same path with them, and uh, focus on spending time with them, a significant amount of time with them, so that together they move together. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Well, Natalie Min, she was amazing. I, I'll do a whole nother vlog about about our shoe, and I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures. They came out. They came out awesome. I mean, I, I looked at them and I was like, "That's not even." We me. murdered. Shoe. <laughs> I was like, murdered. "Not even me." Like, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, any um uh, social network or website people could find you on. Uh, you know, if they want bookings, they want information. I mean, I'm not just gonna tell people from California to come to you. I mean. From Connecticut, so anybody around, if they can reach you, bookings, anything, you know, you got anything for me, website or for sure, yeah. So like, um, a big resource I have, and it's kind of like a, a, a passion of mine because I want people to succeed, you know, knowing like that I have learned so much from my own uh, path to success. Yep. Um, is FMI Guild, so it's fmiguild.org, and we are the fitness MBA. Uh, we teach business education to fitness lifestyle entrepreneurs, and we have. Um, subject matter experts, business people from all areas within this industry that talk about the business side of things. Because we see the photos, but we don't understand how the photos lead to paying, putting food on the table, yeah. you know? So we, we bring those people in to talk about different aspects of their expertise. Um, so it's very, very proud of this resource. We have a fall conference that's coming up. Awesome. Um, it's in Newport Beach. So if you think this place is pretty, Newport Beach is yeah. sick. It's gorgeous. We have, it's Two days sit down with like a non-stop uh, speakers um, and then we have uh, published fitness photographers that are going to be there too uh, helping you create the photos that you your business. So um, they know what to do, they, uh, the speakers know what to do, you're just there to meet a ton of people, learn and just accelerate your career. Awesome. Um,
have a lot of businesses, so this could take a while. I have photography, so Tell if you them. Google NellieMinPhotography.com, <laughs> uh, then you're going to find my photography work, and you can Google it, some really hot fitness models and stuff like that. It's they awesome. are awesome. They are awesome. <laughs> and if you care to have a booking with me, just give me a holler. I'm fun to hang out with. She is. <laughs> she, it's been a blast. <laughs> so yeah, and then also, uh, yeah, last one, wrap up, wrap up. <laughs> I have a, a, a digital marketing company, um, a creative studio uh, for the fitness industry where we create websites, graphic design, um, we do some uh, brand consulting. So in essence, what I try to, if you look at my business as a whole, is, is that if you are passionate about this type of life, yeah. I want to help you get there. Awesome. And I've got expertise to try to get you to your, to your dreams, because that makes me feel fulfilled. That's terrific. Well, for me, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that, at Hope Hustle underscore PHJR. Check us out on Facebook, Hope Hustle Fitness LLC. It's our business page, and you can contact us through our website, www.hovehustlefitness.com. Email us. We'll be glad to help you guys. And uh, we get a lot of emails, so we'll get right back to you ASAP. And uh, it's been a blast. So for... You brought your A game. I was pretty impressed. <laughs> I mean, like, I looked at my camera. We she has nothing but good things like, to say. Holy shit. <laughs> we were like, ah! Like, I think I came in shape today, I guess. I don't know. I guess I dyed it all right, right? You did all right. Yeah, the hair looked pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Tam brought it out. I'm sorry. And her lighting brought it out, too. So, for uh, Paul Hovan. Natalie Min. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Th take care.